Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Nicki Minaj versus BET situation. So if you guys don't know, all of this drama started months ago when Cardi B won her first Grammy Award, okay? So Cardi B won a Grammy, and somebody's damn ratchet-ass intern caught themselves posting this on BET.com. So this is what they posted. So it says, Cardi B is the first solo female rapper to win Best Rap Album, and fans are weeping. Meanwhile, Nicki Minaj is being dragged by her lace front. So once that went viral, Nikki was definitely in her feelings. If you guys remember, Nikki was scheduled to perform at the BET Awards, her, Lil Wayne, the rest of Young Money. And so at that point, her and her barbs, they decided to start the hashtag BET is canceled. So they started the hashtag, people were dragging BET. And I do feel like that comment from um, the intern, whoever the hell wrote it, was very disrespectful. And it was definitely uncalled for. You can praise Cardi B without throwing shade at Nicki Minaj, okay? So I thought that was wrong, but obviously Nikki is still in her damn feelings because the other day she took to social media and this is what she tweeted about the 2019 BET Awards. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So basically Nikki pulled up music facts and they were stating with only 2 million views, the 2019 BET Awards show was the lowest ratings ever, okay? So Nikki says, when you go out of your way to be spiteful and hurt artists who have always supported your show, when you fire great people who have put their heart and soul into the show, when you'd rather be a messy reality show than a prestigious award show, when you're still being dragged by that lace. Honey. So that is what Nicki Minaj had to say to BET. And a lot of people were really mixed about her saying that to them. Like, Nicki, you're doing the most. You know what I'm saying? Like, calm down, sis. Well, BET wasn't here for the fuck shit, okay? BET was like, oh, okay, Nicki, we got you. First and foremost, let's not, you know, just retweet fake news, because that was fake news. And let's not go out for the shit that's written on Wikipedia, because anybody can update Wikipedia. So this is what BET had to say in response to Nicki Minaj's tweet. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So BET says the 2019 hashtag BET Awards soars as the number one cable award show for the fifth consecutive year from 2015 through 2019 among 18 to 49-year-olds with more than 12.7 million total views tuning in across eight at Viacom Networks on Sunday, June 23rd. All right, so that is what BT had to say. They were not here for the bullshit, okay? And as you guys all know, I was down there at the BT Awards. I had a great time. The whole BT is canceled situation, uh, it did nothing, okay, for the show. The show still went on without a hitch. People enjoyed it. The Nipsey Hustle tribute. Party B did her thing. Migos did their thing. Mary J. Blige, she killed it. You know what I'm saying? She bought out Method Man. It was a really good show. A lot of people really enjoyed it. I got a chance to meet a lot of the people on the back end of BT, and they were wonderful. They're tea sippers, by the way. Okay, they were wonderful, very down to earth. You know, we had a good time hanging out at the, you know, at the damn BET location. Okay, I was behind the scenes at BET and watching them, you know, put the show together. You know, going through credentials. There's so many things that go on behind the scenes to put together an award show. So you know, to just be dismissive, even if they didn't get the views that they did get. It's insulting to everyone who put the show together, you know. And shout out to Miss Connie Orlando. I got a chance to meet her, and she was wonderful. You know, all the people who work for BET behind the scenes are really cool, down-to-earth people, and they put a lot of work into their shows. They put a lot of work into what they do. You know what I'm saying? It's not just one person. So I think it's very unfortunate that Nicki Minaj would even try to perpetuate that rumor, and I'm glad that BET came back and they defended themselves as they should because right now that's one of the few platforms that's giving black artists Artists, a place to recognize them, a place to perform and everything else. Because um, you're not you're not seeing a ton of black artists, okay, performing, opening, and being invited to like big awards like the Grammys, you know, award shows like the uh, American Music Awards, the Billboard Awards. BET was created for black artists, 
black musicians and things like that. BET Awards is something that's celebrating, you know what I'm saying, black folks in music, and we have to support that. You know, regardless of the situation, nobody else has given us a seat at the table like that. You know, nobody else has given us props like that. So we have to support the BETs. And the fact, you know, that Tyler Perry was there, he said his speech, Taraji P. Henson was there. There was a lot of great moments during the BET Awards, and for her to just dismiss all those great moments because she's in her feelings about what some day you know ratchet ass intern tweeted months ago is just really sad you have set the bar for relatable timeless classic music you open multiple doors for female artists in, the, in this industry and on behalf of all the women and came after you like myself thank you for being you so we could feel comfortable being ourselves <laughs> Thank you for pouring your soul into every track and giving us a song for every feeling. Thank you for showing us that love is all that we need, but we didn't know how much we actually needed you. Who my husband like I do, huh? Who my sister like I do, huh? Where you at? Where's he? 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 Everybody was fighting for a seat at the table, talking about Oscar so white, Oscar so white. I said, y'all go ahead and do that. But while you fighting for a seat at the table, I'll be down in Atlanta building my own. Because, because what I know for sure is that if I could just build this table, God would prepare it for me in the presence of my enemies. Rather than being an icon, I want to be an inspiration. So. Thank you, BET, my new family. Thank you, everybody. I want you to hear this. Every dreamer in this room, there are people whose lives are tied into your dream. Own your stuff. Own your business. Own your way. God bless you. Thank you, BET. Thank you, Scott. I love you guys. I feel like this, like I said, this was a really good show. And then let's not forget, Queen Rihanna was there, okay? Y'all know I'm Team Navy all day, okay? She was there. You know, I feel that Nicki Minaj is definitely in her feelings about what they, you know, what that intern posted months ago on BET. But I also feel like she's in her feelings because once again, other people are winning BET awards. Because let's not forget, 2018, Remy Ma won, 2019, Cardi B won. And yeah, that crown is coming back to the Bronx. So I think that that kind of bothers her as well. Because before all of this, Nicki Minaj had no problem, you know, performing on the show going to the show, supporting the show. It wasn't like it was one of the execs or the, you know, the big wigs at BET who posted that. And the person, trust me, because I asked about it, the person who posted that about Nicki Minaj, they were definitely dealt with, okay? So it's not like the person got away with it. They're still not eating off no BET check. They were definitely swiftly dealt with. That was not okay. It was very disrespectful, like I stated. You don't have to put down one woman to uplift another woman, okay? But I just feel like, I just find it really funny that she's still mad over this. And I feel like she's upset over this because she was not, you know, included in the BET Awards, but that was her own choice. She chose not to go, and I don't blame her. If she felt like she was being disrespected, then why go? But at the end of the day, why try and gloat and push a lie when that wasn't true? You know, regardless if you watch this show, regardless if you're into the BET Awards or not, it was one of the highest rated award shows, okay? A lot of people tuned in. A lot of people watched it. A lot of people were in attendance. A lot of people came through to support it. They even did the blue carpet for Nipsey Hussle. So the BET Awards was definitely popping this year, regardless of what Nicki Minaj wants to believe. And that's why I say you should always fact check and make sure that things are accurate and things are true before you post them because sometimes when you post lies you can come back have an egg on your damn face okay so now in other Nicki Minaj news okay rumors are being spread that she is indeed pregnant by Kenneth Zupetti so if you guys don't know she was recently at the Jimmy Fallon show and they decided to do some type of seafood dinner you know slash mukbang hey I'm here with the one and only Nicki Minaj and we are going on a dinner date to Red Lobster. Splits case? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, I'm really having a good time tonight. Thanks. And they're eating, and she, you know, nobody asked her, but she decided to let everybody know that what she was drinking in her drink had no alcohol in it. It was just iced tea. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys this tweet. Go ahead and check this out. So Jimmy Fallon posts tonight, Red Lobster Redemption with at Nicki Minaj, Fallon Live. 
And then Nicki Minaj says, for the record, that was iced tea in that lobsterita glass. No alcohol was consumed in the making of our dinner date. Honey. So those rumors might be true because as we all know, when you are with child, you're not supposed to be drinking any type of liquor, period. Okay. If you want your child to have the best start in the world, put down the damn alcohol. So she's saying that she was not drinking anything, no alcohol, nothing was consumed. Further speculated that Miss Petty, that's, you know, Kenneth's last name, not me being Petty, um, is pregnant by Kenneth Zoo Petty, okay? So it's going to be very interesting to see if she's going to come out and announce it soon, but it looks like she may be letting us know in a few weeks here if she gets further along. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, Again, concerning Nicki Minaj versus BET and then last but not least Nicki Minaj basically now fueling more rumors that she may possibly be pregnant because of what she said about her being on the Jimmy Fallon show so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs>